And how's it going guys, Joshua Lefemme here, live from LA, and great news, Adobe has released a new awesome feature within After Effects Beta that reimagines 3D workflows by adding new camera navigation tools and transform gizmos for 3D layers. Basically, it just allows navigating the 3D world a lot easier in After Effects than it used to be. This is something that a lot of people have been waiting for for kind of a while. Let's dive in and check out a few of these features. First things first, go into Adobe Creative Cloud and make sure that you have Adobe After Effects Beta downloaded. Go to Beta Apps and then go to After Effects Beta. Make sure it's installed. It is installed. Let's open it up. All right, let's make a new project. And I'm going to go and import just a Photoshop file. I happen to know that this Photoshop file has a bunch of 3D layers that I can play around with. And um, let's uh, import it as a composition and let's do editable layer styles. This will give me a composition with a bunch of the layers all within that composition. Cool. So I have all my individual layers within this composition. This is a this is just basically a thumbnail that I made for one of my past videos about one of my favorite directors, Clarence Peters. First things first, let's make all these layers 3D. And now I want to show you the completely reimagined orbit, pan, and dolly controls to create some pretty cool interaction modes. I want to show you that you no longer have to make a camera, at least at first. There's something called a default camera that allows you to navigate 3D space just right at the jump. So check this out. If I go to this first tool, orbit, I will orbit wherever I can orbit around wherever my cursor has been placed. Pretty awesome, pretty easy. I can also go to pan and I can pan wherever my cursor is. This is all happening in 3D space with my default camera. I didn't have to make a camera yet. And of course, dolly. I can dolly in and dolly out pretty easily. Let's undo all that. That's using these new awesome navigation tools up here. Next, I'm going to actually make a camera. New camera. I will just leave the default settings for, for now. Click OK. Before I do anything, I see a lot of unused layers that I'm just going to delete. I kind of only just want to work with the layers that are currently not blinded. OK, I've simplified everything a little bit more. I have all these layers that are now 3D. Now check this out. I'm going to go back to my orbit tool and I want to orbit everything. Oops, let's undo that. Great example. I want to orbit from the middle. So I'm going to click in the middle because it orbits wherever my cursor is. This is called a orbit around cursor. And then I'm going to zoom out a little bit with my scroller on my mouse. And then I'm going to click on this layer, this director layer. I'm going to go back onto my selection tool and look at this gizmo. This is called a gizmo. This is new. This allows you to easily operate and move this layer in 3D space. It's beautiful and amazing. Perfect. I can literally do that to any layer I want. Um, I can now move uh, Clarence's front. Let's go back to this first layer and move it out like this. As you can see, this literally allows you to, if you, if you say have a, a photo that you've cut up into different layers, you can now move those layers in 3D space rather easily. Now I'm gonna show you how to keyframe. This is something you may already know how to do. Let's click into this layer, go into transform. As you move this layer, you can see that it's the position that is being moved in the Z direction. So we know that we wanna create a keyframe on position. Click our stopwatch and then let's go forward and then we can easily drag wherever we want this text to end. And then as you would expect, from this keyframe to this keyframe, it's going to go forward in the Z direction. These two features has basically just made working in 3D space inside After Effects a lot more intuitive. Just a little recap, you're able to navigate 3D space using these three tools. Because you have a default camera, you don't have to actually make a camera to do that. You, you can go right into After Effects and start navigating the 3D space within your layered comp and have a great idea of where everything is placed and kind of create a game plan. And then after that, you can go in, create your camera, and then click on every individual layer and actually move it with the 3D gizmo. First, you have to go to your selection tool and then you can move every layer individually with your 3D gizmo, which is a new thing within 
this version of After Effects. Thanks so much guys for watching. Please let me know some new applications where you think you're going to use these tools within After Effects. I have two more videos for you to watch. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching and as always remember to keep it chill.